Welcome to a new week of The Rundown. On this episode, safety information during hurricane season. The Navy issued a NAV admin correction for the physical readiness program and the latest updates to My Navy Portal. Sailors throughout the fleet have been providing humanitarian support and disaster relief to those affected by Hurricane Harvey and the more recent Hurricane Irma. Among the commands leading the charge are the USS Wasp, USS Kearsarge, and the USS Oak Hill. Relief has been provided in the form of search and rescue missions, providing medical assistance, and supplying food, water, and other essentials necessary for survival. September is National Emergency Preparedness Month, and a blog on Navy Live was designed to inform sailors about hurricanes and what to do before, during, and after a hurricane. The blog addresses storm terminology, the categories of hurricanes, and conditions of readiness. In addition, the blog provides tips on preparing for a hurricane, seeking shelter, or evacuating. Find the blog by clicking the link on the Navy Live homepage. Effective immediately, postpartum sailors are exempt from participating in the physical readiness assessment for six months following maternity or convalescent leave. The change will give sailors more time to prepare for the tests and to return to right standards following pregnancy. The correction can be read in NAV Admin 141-17 on NPC. Finally, My Navy Portal has introduced a low bandwidth version that will allow sailors with low bandwidth connectivity to access the website. Sailors can choose the low bandwidth option at the login screen or on any page within the website. The option will remove photos and graphics and will reformat the page to allow for faster performance. More information can be read in the support and help section on my.navy.mil. That's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople.fct at navy.mil. For the Chief Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.